نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اهلي اللهم فكهنا في الدين امين ثم امين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته سوره البقره الف لام مين these are the quranic initials and they are also known as the huruf muqatta'at muqatta'at the root word for this is qaf ta ain and qata means to cut to sever or to separate so these quranic initials are they've been placed in the start of a few surahs of quran and uh, these actually when we look at the word they look as if the letters of the alphabets they are joined together seemingly they do look that they are joined together but actually these letters of alphabets they are separated and they have been cut off from each other because they do not join together to make a word with a literal meaning dhalika this is a demonstrative pronoun a pointing verb uh, a pointing word for a masculine singular zalika that that is what al kitabu kaf ta ba means to write and kitab means the written text or the book and it is not any book because there is alif lam before kitab and this makes it a proper noun al kitabu the book la this is a negative particle meaning no raiba raiba means doubt doubt confusion uh being double minded la raiba no doubt fi he fi is a preposition meaning in he is a pronoun for the third person masculine singular fi he in it hodan is a guidance a guidance lil muttaqin lam zir li is a prefixed preposition meaning for it is a guidance for mut taqin the root word for muttaqin is waw qaf ya the fear to fear or to be pious muttaqin is what it is a plural noun for what for the people who are god fearing who are god conscious or who are who are pious or people of piety and these muttaqin are who allazina this is a relative pronoun for masculine plural allazina those who yu'minuna yu'minuna is an imperfect verb it is a muzari the ya indicates that the verb is being done by the third person masculine and vow noun shows that it is a plural you minuna they believe bil ghaibi bazir b is a perfect uh, is a prefixed preposition meaning with with ya in bil ghaib now for ghaib in most of the translations it is generally written as unseen but to explain in detail ghaib refers to all those things or anything which we cannot perceive with our five senses the senses being our eyes we see with our nose we smell 
with our tongue we taste, with our ears we hear, and with our hands we touch to find out the shape, the structure, the size, the temperature, the proprioception of the object. So anything which a person cannot feel with the five senses is known as ghaib. Bil ghaibi, with or in the unseen. Wa and yuqimuna. The root word is qama, means to stand, to establish. Ya obviously shows that it is an imperfect verb and it is for the third person masculine and the vow noon shows that the verb is being done by plural. Yuqimuna. They, they establish. They establish what? Asalata the prayer wa and mimma this is made with two by joining two words min and ma min means for and off and ma means what off out of what or from what razak na hum this is Two words joined together, Rozakna and Hum. Rozakna is a past perfect verb on the die cast of Fa'alna. Rozaka means, risk means the provisions. And Rozakna means we provide. Hum is what? It is a relative pronoun, means them. Razaknahum, we have provided them yunfiquna. This again is an imperfect verb. The ya, it shows that it is for the third person masculine, and the vow noon signifies that the verb is being done by plural. Yunfiquna, noon fa qaf, means to spend. Yonfikuna, they spend. So now, if I would repeat this verse. Alif, la, mim, these are the initials. Zalika, that is al-kitabu, the book. La, no, raiba, doubt. Fihi, in it. Hudan. It is what? A guidance. Lil muttaqin For the God-fearing or for the pious. Allazina, Those who yu'minuna. They believe. Bil ghaibi. In the unseen. Wa yuqimuna. And they establish. as The prayer. Wa mimma. And out of what? And from what? Razaqnahum. We have provided them. Yunfiquna. They spend. Wallazina and those who yu minuna again the imperfect verb for iman and they believe this is the third person masculine plural form of imperfect verb they believe bima bazir b is a prefix preposition with in or with ma what unzela. Noon zalam to send to reveal onzila which has been sent down, which has been sent down ilaika. Ila means it is a preposition towards or to kafzabarka is uh it is the pronoun for the second person masculine towards you or to you wa and ma what 
Onzela was sent down men from Qablika. Qaf ba lam. Qabl means before. Qaf zabar ka means the second person, um, the second person masculine, the second person masculine singular. You, Qablika, before you, wa and bil akhirati. Bazir b is a prefix to preposition, and this means what? In Akhirati, the hair after, and in or with the hair after, whom they, you noon, wow, of noon. This means to believe, to have sure faith, to be sure headed, or to be sure shot in. You kinuna, they firmly believe. Ula ika. These are the people. This is a demonstrative pronoun for a plural form. Those are these are those people. Allah upon Hudan a guidance men from Rab be him. Rab is the sustainer of the Lord. Him their Lord. Wa and Ulaika. Those are whom they. Al Muflihun. These are those who are Al Muflihun. Fa Lam Ha. Falaha means success or to achieve or to be successful. Al Muflihun. All those who are the successful. So now, if I repeat these verses again, so that you can complete anything which you've left out. Walazina and those who Minuna they believe Bema in what Unzila is sent down Ilaika towards you or to you Wama and what Unzila was sent down Min from Kabilika before you Wa Bil Ahirwati and in the hereafter, whom they you kinun, they strongly believe, they are sure headed, they firmly believe. Ula ika, these or those Allah are upon Hudan guidance men from Rabbi him, their Lord or their sustainer, wa ula ika, and those are whom they al muflihun those who are the successful sadaqallahul azim